Our next little big shot is magic. Just 13, this young street magician is already wowing fans all over the world, including a certain Mr Dynamo. Please welcome Dan Dan the Magic Man. I've been looking forward to meeting you because I love magic. When did you get into it? Uh, I got into it about five years ago. Uh, basically, what happened is my brother used to go to swimming lessons and uh, every week I'd, like, try and practice magic tricks on people. Yeah. And also, my uncle Steve would show me a new card trick every week. Once I was doing card tricks in Asda and there was a magician there and uh, he came up to me and went, oh, I'll show you a few tricks. And I had the same deck of cards as him and I was like, oh, we've got the same one. And I've kind of learned it from different people. Like, there was a magician called Mark <laughs> and... Uh, he showed me a few different tricks. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of carried on to learn and practice tricks. And that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Has Dynamo told you that he's a bit of a fan of you, then? Yeah, well, uh, a few years ago, Dynamo was interviewed. They asked there anyone that you're kind of inspired by or anyone yeah. you like. Yeah. And then he says there's a young kid called Daniel yeah. and I think he'll go far, so... Great! <laughs> yeah. That is an endorsement worth having, isn't it? Yeah. So, will you give yeah, me sure. a trick now? Good. Now, Basically, it's called a palm. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it. So yes. if you could hold on to a card for me. Yes. Now, say if I'm playing with a pack of cards in school like this. Now, if I take a card like this and palm it, this is called a palm. It's where it's on one side of your hand, but ah. from one way it looks like no. So I'd take it like that. Yeah. So and it have it like there. But doesn't my hand, hand look kind of weird like that? Do you <laughs> make it look really natural? That's so right. yeah. You know, when you kind of take it like this. <laughs> yeah. So you come up, you come like this, and you palm it. So it looks like it's changed. So once again, like that. So you palm it. The thing is, when the teacher told me to turn my hand around, I just had to make it disappear. So. Dan. So I'm going to pull out uh, a deck of cards here. Yeah. Okay, I think you're familiar with one of these. I am. Okay, so I'm going to take this deck of cards. Now, the only thing that's unique about this deck is a stick man. And I want you to see. That it, it animates like a stick man. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tap you on the head and I want you to name out loud the first card <laughs> that comes into your mind. Uh, <laughs> two of hearts. Two of hearts. I'm going to search through this deck until we find yeah. the two of hearts. I thought you'd take my brain then. It's going to be hard. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm, no. Uh, oh, eventually. There it is. There it is, the yeah. two of hearts. Now, I'm going to take the two. Now, I didn't influence you, OK? You did well, did you? <laughs> I know it wouldn't take a lot to influence you, but I'm just saying. <laughs> You're so right. Take the two of hearts. It would basically take a gin and tonic. <laughs> well, the two of hearts, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now I want you to see this magician pulls out one card, but one card only. The two of hearts. Oh my goodness! Yes. <laughs> That's amazing, Dan. Thanks. No, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Cheers, thanks a lot. You're pretty good, aren't you? <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to take out another deck of cards. Yes. Now, this card is very special. Yes. So I made a deck of cards with your name on them. It says Dawn on half of them and French on the other one. Right. Right. So I just didn't want you to feel left out, you know what I mean? Yes. And it took me hours making this. Did it? <laughs> So, I'm going to take one card that says Dawn. Okay. Yes. Now, I'm going to take another card from the deck that says French. Yes. And I'm going to put it here, OK? Yes. Now, I'm going to take a, a black card out of the deck which says Dawn and put it here, like this, and another red one here. Now, I'm going to split the deck in about half. Would you say that's half? Yeah. You're very fast at counting cards, I must say. And I just want you to hold on to them for me. And this entirely now is up to you. Now, this deck is filled with cards saying Dawn and cards saying French. If you think the card says Dawn, just put it in the Dawn pile. If you think that card says French, put it in the French pile. Uh, I'm going to let you down, aren't I? No. No, OK. You can do three at a time, five at a time. You can do it in chunks, however you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
bit of fresh yeah, air. It's very hot in here. You've put my brain back in again now. OK. So, not bad, not bad. Hmm? Now, I want you to do the exact same thing, but put the cards into this pile, OK? Yes. OK. Oh, there's more in this pile, aren't there? Let's have a look again. Mm, not bad, not bad. <laughs> now, the strange thing is, you could have dealt the cards here, here, or anywhere you wanted, but I want to show you that all these cards say Dawn. All these cards say French. Do you want to turn these around? I'm a bit spooked. All them say French? Yeah. And once again, all these say Dawn. <laughs> Fantastic, Dan. Thank you. I don't think I've ever seen such a good trick up close, actually. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have been privileged to watch this young man do his tricks tonight. Please give it up for Dan. Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of little big shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on.